Let's start with the Palash one. You can find it over here in the defense systems. And it says, Palash one, an active protection system designed to defend the ship against artillery shelling. This tells us two things. It's protecting against artillery shells, which are large caliber guns, which would be anything at least this one. It won't protect against these ones and these ones, and it won't protect against missiles or rockets. And the second thing it says, it's an active protection system. It means it doesn't require activation by the user. It, it's automatic. Now this fat man doesn't have it installed by default. I'm going to show you how to install it. And then we're gonna see how it works in it. Okay, first to make some room. Uh, to actually check if you can put it right away in a ship, you click the item. And you see nothing glowing green. That means there's no open slot in the structure of the ship. I'm going to remove fuel tank and that fuel tank. <coughs> Does it work? In those two orientations, it works, and you see it glow in green. I'm going to put it right behind the armor. As you can see, it actually works behind the armor. It doesn't get obstructed by it, if it's right next to it. And, <coughs> and now let's test it in game. The salvo that just hit the APS system, it removed the left half circle. And that half circle indicates the arc of which the Palash protects. And if you look at it closely, um, you can see that it took two of those shells, which are over here, I think that's 100 millimeter ones, to um, deplete it. it actually, it's actually not destroyed as a system, it's just depleted. Now let's take a look at the flight dispenser system. Find it over here. It's the ASO 75. 75 millimeter decoy flare dispenser for use against heat seeking missiles. I'm going to remove the punch paste. I'm only going to place one of those this time. And now let's test it again. Okay, when you get a missile incoming, like so, you wait for the right moment and you hold F or you press it several times. Have you seen the missile came in, then it got distracted by the flares and then it just it keeps flying straight. I would also like to point out that the flare dispenser system has limited amount of ammo. However, it replenishes if you rearm it after landing. It doesn't require manually uh, replacing the parts via repair screen. The next item on the list are anti-aircraft missiles that are used in the real-time combat of the And you can find them on the armament, and it's the R9. It's the R9 Sprint. Intercepts and neutralizes high-speed air targets of any type. Its cost is offset by its high efficiency, requires fire control radar. The, this weapon system is not just a countermeasure system, it is also an offensive system because it, it attacks um, other missiles coming at your ship, which are, for example, those here, the R5 Zenit. It, it intercepts anti-ship missiles, but also can intercept tactical and cruise missiles coming at your ship in the real-time screen, and it will intercept enemy planes sent from aircraft carriers. So it it, it fulfills the role of, of a offensive weapon system. However, it still fits into the countermeasure systems. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to use the Savasa pole, which has a large array of those installed on the roof. 
And let's see how it works again. All you do is to wait for an enemy missile or enemy plane or an enemy cruise missile to come in. And then you press your C button to launch one of them. And there we go. And that is how I use the anti-aircraft missiles. They have both tactical and tactical advantages and disadvantages because on the one hand they're really effective. In the real-time combat screen they can take out missiles fired from other ships with one shot and they're pretty fast depending from what angle your ship is getting attacked at. However, for a cruise missile, it might take two or three or four of them to hit. And sometimes the missile still gets through and hits your ship. Now, the downside of that is you have to manually re rearm them in the repair screen. And if the place you land in it doesn't have any spare parts or rather spare missiles to buy, then you can't rearm them. 